Hi everyone, Jekyll here, I did again. Due to my bad planning skills, I decided to host a poll on Twitter upon the topic of the discussion. By a landslide, the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! anime in Poland won. I was actually quite surprised, I didn't think it would be such a popular demand. So, I guess I'm forced to do it. Okay, so let's start with some general information regarding the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. It has been happening for more than 20 years at this point. The first series to be released was Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, which had its run from 2000 to 2004, and the series was quite successful. Bought a number of spin-offs, those being Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, which had its run from 2004 to 2008, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds from 2008 to 2011, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel from 2011 to 2014, Arc 5 from 2014 to 2017, Frames from 2017 to 2019, and the still-running show Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s in 2020. There were also three movies released, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie Pyramid of Light, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions. When it comes to Poland, there were only two pieces of Yu-Gi-Oh! media introduced. The Pyramid of Light movie in 2005, named Ostateczne Starcie, which translates to Final Battle, and the first 48 episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters in 2004. At this point, it was one of the first, at least to my knowledge, animated series that didn't originate in Poland and were properly dubbed and not had a use of a lector, meaning a guy reading all the lines in a monotone and an uninteresting voice just like you are hearing right now. Allow me to introduce you to the talented actors and actresses who dubbed Yu-Gi-Oh! for all the young boys and gals in Poland. Those would be Alexander Gavik, who played the role of Yugi, Jacek Kowalski, who played both the role of Yugi's grandpa and Croquet, Mikolaj Klimek, who played the role of Seto Kaiba, as you can probably see, his picture is in black and white since Mikolaj died in July this year, probably due to a stroke or a heart attack. Jarosław Budnik, who played the role of Maximilian Pegasus, Johanna Domańska, who played My Valentine, Sylwester Maciejewski, who played Bandit Keith, Iwona Rulewicz, who played Thea, Marek Wodarczyk, who played both the role of Joey and Bakura, Vedanta Berger, who played the role of Mokuba, Mirosław Wieprzewski, who played the role of Tristan, and Ireneusz Machnicki, who played the role of Duke Devlin. No other actors are credited when it comes to the series whatsoever. An interesting thing to note is that the cast of the Primitive Light movie was completely different from the one in the series. I have no idea why was that the thing, most likely it was due to the actors not being available, and I'm actually too lazy to look up the pictures for the cast of the Primitive Light movie. An important thing to note is, like I mentioned before, only the first 48 episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters series were released in Poland. To put that somewhere on the series timeline, it's just before the end of the Yu-Gi vs. Duke Dice game. The Dice game concluded in episode 49, which never aired. That would also mean that we didn't get the latter seasons, including Battle City. That's why when I first saw the God Cards in the Primitive Light movie, I was very confused. I have to say, actually saying confused is a bit of an understatement. So let's talk about, about translation errors. Those were present like with every localized version. There were some, of course. To be frank, translation errors in Polish TV had become a meme at this point. It actually was a meme before memes were a thing. When it comes to funnier examples, Die Hard was translated as Szklana Pułapka, which is actually glass trap in English. Dirty Dancing was translated to Virujące Sex, which is whirling sex, and Reality Bites as Centralne Biuro Uwodzenia, Central Office of Seduction. This trend actually continues into the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I know translating a translated term can, and most likely will, make the term lose all of its meaning. However, it's still in good faith and good fun, and for me to go down the nostalgia lane and revisit some of the most bizarre, amazing and completely insane names the Polish dub gave to some of the things in the show. Let's start with the MacGuffins on the show, the Millennium Items. All names were translated well, except for the Millennium Puzzle. For some reason, it was translated as Millennium Passions, which in English is Millennium Solitaire. Why they didn't use the Polish word for puzzle? I don't know and probably never will. While on the topic of Yugi, his ace monster, the Dark Magician, was dubbed Chen Magi, which translates to magic's shadow. Not as magician's shadow, but magic's shadow, as the magic 
had a shadow. Another bizarre name given in the show was the name for Dragon Piper. In Polish it was known as Smok Pieprzowy, which translates to Pepper Dragon. I wasn't able to make sense of it even as a kid, probably because there is none to begin with. Damn it. My personal favorite and the most famous one in the Polish Yu-Gi-Oh community is the name for Man-Eating Plant. It was translated to Człowiek Jedzący Roślinę, which in English is Man-Eating a Plant. The difference is subtle but impactful. In one clear swoop, the dub made a man out of a carnivorous plant and not a regular man, a VEGAN! The penultimate entry in the section is a translation for Monster Tamer. His Polish name is Potwór Tamer, which is a direct translation of Monster Tamer in English. By direct I mean word for word. Why am I putting in this section then? Is because of how it's dubbed. With that name, Monster Tamer is a monster whose name is Tamer. That is being both completely inaccurate and stupid. It makes my brain hurt. For the final entry in this section, I'd like to talk about something that doesn't make all the poles look stupid and something that actually elevates the status of the monster a bit higher than it was in the show. And what I'd like to talk about is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It was translated to Nibiskoki Wszechpotężny Smok, which in English is Blue Eyes Omnipotent Dragon. One can say that the Polish dub made Kaiba's best monster seem even more fearsome than it originally was. Like in most long-running shows, there were some inconsistencies. Most of them were, of course, related to the translation errors. The most noteworthy ones being various names the dub gave for the same card. It's not that apparent when it happens in different episodes, but sometimes it does happen. In the same episode, heck, in a conversation between two characters, the card that received the treatment first was Kaiba's blue eyed white dragon. For some reason, the dub just couldn't decide what shade of blue the eyes actually were. It would circulate between light blue and regular blue. Not to mention that Celtic Guardian, both the Battle Guards, the Feral Imp, Flame Swordsman, all got three different names, with one of those names being actually on point, one being relatively close and the other 13 completely missing the mark. Another instance of inconsistencies one could find is in various flashbacks, mostly in the Kaiba vs Yugi duel from episode 1. The Exodia Obliterate part to be exact. The scene was redubbed at least four times, with Yugi yelling a different command to Exodia each time and even one time you could hear Dan Green in the background. That is some sloppy editing. And that would be it for today. The topic is not well known in the international community, so I thought it would be an interesting one to talk about. Actually, this idea has been on my mind for a while now, and I got it from Moscow X's video on the Polish dub for Dragon Ball. I'll leave the link to that in the description. Still, no matter how much I was bitching about the dub, it was, and still is, what got me into the game and made me want to experiment. I don't think I was the only one either. Anyway, going back to the point, what do you think about the dub? Were your non-English dubs similar in form? I would love to know more, so please leave your thoughts and Yu-Gi-Oh! anime memories in the comments below. See you all next time. Bye-bye!